This is the Spokane mine or prospect that uh, we're looking at. We're looking almost south at the uh, collapsed at it. Here there's a, a, uh, a slope failure scarp up above there, fairly fresh. You could, uh, it's obvious from on the ground here that uh, this over steep and slope here is very unstable and uh, it, there's several failures all along it. Uh, the, again, the, the added is, is totally collapsed. It, it really can't tell where it was exactly except for the trench right here and that uh, failure scarp up above. I'm standing on the dump. The dump is, is fairly small. I don't think that this uh, added amounted to much. Uh, it's only the dump only comes out from where I perceive the portal to be is about uh, 20 feet and then dives off the side and it's about 30 feet wide it's uh, just a spread out to make a platform to work on on this very steep slope so we'll turn around and and uh, look at the dump area look at it kinda looking west to uh, to get a feel for the the size of the flat here we're looking west at the Spokane mine or prospect EC 144 we're just right the the this wheelbarrow that's on the dump is just right outside the where the portal is about where I was standing to take the last shot large boulder laying on the on the dump there there's a part of a shovel that's underneath the dump underneath that large boulder and uh, the boulder is basically right on the lip of the dump and so you get an idea it's it's at the most 20 feet wide coming out or 20 feet long coming out um, from the portal and then uh, it's uh, a little bit wider there is I found two uh, adits here we'll look at, at it too it's just to the east of us and uh, not very far away we'll look at it next it's much smaller than this one and uh, doesn't have much of a dump at all so we'll get over on the on the other side of that boulder and look back at the at the dump looking east to see what it uh, you get a, a little bit of an, an idea that there is some bare dirt and uh, it's not quite as brushy to to see what the the nose and face of the dump look like here we're looking east at the dump for the at one of the Spokane mine there's that large boulder we were looking at before from the other side sitting up on the 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 dump the flat of the dump you can see the exposed dirt here it is moderately overgrown but on this side it's it's fairly obvious it goes down the hill maybe oh probably as much as a hundred feet on the slope but it's not very thick um, maybe at the very most 10 feet thick so it's pretty much of an insignificant uh, uh, added in that it, it located where it is on just south of Ruby Lake it was probably a a fairly major undertaking just to dig the, the thing and uh, there is a bit of quartz vein material on the dump that uh, I'm sure that that's what uh, the old boys were chasing so this is this will be it for at it one we'll go take a, a quick look at at it two and then move on this is at it two for the Spokane mine or prospect it's EC 144 we're just about 20 feet or 30 feet east of at one not very far away it's just right along the slope it's very difficult to to see I'm sure in this this uh, film it's not uh, real apparent but there's a a nice little uh, depression going back it's not near as big as at one and uh, the dump is is very insignificant I probably won't even show what it looks like but it, it's not uh, hardly even a, a a, uh, a bump on the side of the hill so uh, this is this is about all will there will be for at it to the the old reports say that there was three adits at this site I haven't uh, been able to locate the third one with a, a moderate search around the area above and below and and uh, east and west from it I, I uh, could not find where the third adit would be uh, I think this will be unless I find it along the way getting out of here this will suffice to be the Spokane Mine or Prospect EC 144. Now this is it for Add It To.